Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in, checking out the channel. Today we should have a pretty fun rip. <clears throat> I picked these boxes up at my local card shop, which I really, really like. And uh, <clears throat> they always have some neat stuff there. They make up these homemade blaster boxes there. And I have done a video on the baseball, basketball, and football one. So if you want to see the basketball and football one, you can check that one out after this if you'd wish. These each contain six to eight hobby packs worth at least 30 bucks resale value and at least one auto or relic per box. So I have two baseball boxes here to rip. Let's see if we can find any autographs, hits, some nice rookie cards. Let's see what we get for the $40 that we purchased. And you guys let me know if you enjoy these and if you think it's worth the price. So let's go ahead and cut into these. I think what I'll do is I'll pull all the packs out from each box. We'll go through each box separate, but I'll pull all the packs out and then we'll just kind of put them put them in order and start ripping. So here in the first baseball blaster box, they package them pretty well. All right, let's see what we have. It looks like in this one we have a 2019 top series one. We have some 2019 Diamond Kings. Looking forward to opening that. I have not opened any of that before. 2018 Series 1. As you can see, I got a jumbo back here that I'm thinking about ripping here on the channel pretty soon. 2018 Big League. And for our Relic, we have a Garrett Cole Donruss from 19 Patch. Okay. So that is our so-called hit in the box. We have a 2016 baseball stadium club. That's cool. I've not ripped any of that. We have some USA baseball. I forget which year this is. Let's see if it says it on the back. 2013 USA baseball champions. I think it has some of the older players on it. And then we have the 13 pinnacle hobby pack that you see in a lot of products. So I think we'll take that stadium club, maybe the 2018, the Diamond Kings, and we'll put these other ones here. Let's open this other one up real quick, and then we'll just have a big old stack of packs to rip through and see what we can find. All right, and this one we have, so that's cool, they give you a little bit of a mixture. We have a 2019 Gypsy Queen. I haven't had much luck with this, but this is a hobby pack, so we'll see if we can get some autographs. We have a 2019 Bowman pack. Those are always good to get the Bowman hobby packs. And for our hit, we have a Marte, let's say Bay Bears Tops Game Used Memorabilia. What year is this from? This is from 2013. All right, not sure if there's what the value is on that, if there is any, but we can check that out later. We have a 2018 Big League, another Big League. We'll kind of put these together. So there's those. We have another 2019 Series 1. 2018 Series 1. And we start to get a pile here. Try to get them organized a little bit. We have another USA and another Pinnacle. So we'll put the USAs and the Pinnacles here. We'll probably open those first. Save the Bowman for last. The Stadium Club. We'll do the Gypsy Queen, the Diamond Kings. We'll do the big league and then the tops. All right, guys. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 hobby packs to rip here. So let's get ripping and see what we get. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's uh, see if I can get these old pinnacle packs open. These are, yeah, these old panini packs. They seem to be not very easy for me to open yet. Still learning, guys. Learning all the little tricks. But here on the front, we have a CC Sabathia. Not too bad there. We have a Tim Lincecum. Got a Steven Strasberg. Make sure I have these centered for you guys. Chris Perez. And then we have a Slugfest of Prince Fielder. Pretty cool for Detroit there. Watching his father play, hitting all those homers, smoking them right out of the park. 
the old Tiger Stadium, which I used to go to as a kid. So that that's uh, we'll put that off to the side for the PC. We got a Jacob Turner. Here we have a LJ Hose rookie card and a Shelby Miller rookie card. All right, that was our first pinnacle pack. Might as well rip right through these pinnacles as we're going. We're going for them. You guys have any good card shops in your area? I know not everybody's fortunate to have a card shop and they have to get their stuff online, so I feel pretty lucky to have a nice one. Roundabouts where I live. Here's a Lo Logan Morrison Cubel. Here we have a Bryce Harper looking back. That's pretty cool. We'll set that off to the side. And it looks like we have an insert of Longoria. Tampa Bay third base. It's a cool looking card there, as you can see. You can see right through it. A Michael Young, Houston Street, and a Casey Kelly rookie card. Pretty cool. All right, we'll keep these, trying to keep these little organized as we have lots and lots of packs. Let's go ahead and check out these 2013 hobby packs from USA Baseball. I did rip some stars and stripes this year. Had a pretty good box, in my opinion. Here we have a 18U 2010 Bubba Starling. Robert Ref Snyder. Mike Schmidt. Gold colored car, that one's kind of cool. Carson Kelly. Francisco Lindor. All right, let's see if, did we get an autograph? Not sure, we did get an autograph. Numbered to 616 of a Mac Williamson. The 16U2016. Nice card. Um, I'm not familiar with the name, guys. You let me know if that's something decent. We'll put it in our decent pile. How about that? Hobie Milner and Henry Owens. All right. Working right along. Next hobby pack, same thing, USA Baseball, Tim Melville, Adrian Marin, A.J. Cole, Barry Larkin, that one's cool, from 1984, USA Baseball team, Matt Lipka, and did we get another autograph? We might have got another autograph. I don't believe these are supposed to have one in every pack, but we have a George Springer autograph to $4.99. Again, let you guys let me know if that's a good one or not. I'll have to check that one out and see if I can find these cards in my Beckett. Not sure if I can or not. But there we go. 2010 College National Team. George Springer. Alright. Got a couple autos. Autos are always good. Always fun to get hits. Matt Barnes, Peter O'Brien. Alright, so the USA Baseball was pretty fun. Let's hit this 2018 Big League. 2018. We should have some decent rookies in here, so let's see if we can hit any of them. There's a Matt Chapman, Aaron Nola, Marcus Strom, or Stroman, excuse me, for the Blue Jays. Here we have a 2017 LL, NL ERA leaders. We got Strasburg, Scherzer, and Clayton Kershaw on there. That's kind of a neat card. Jason Vargas, Alex. Here's a rookie. Luis Colhera. Steven Sosa Jr. And a Chanch Cisco. And the last one we have here is a Greal Jr. rookie for the Blue Jays there. Um, pretty cool card. I'll set that off in our decent pile. All right, next pack of 2018 Big League. And we can get some more decent rookies out of this one. All right, we have a Zach Granite rookie card. Gregory Polanco, Chad Kuehl, Joey Votto, Trevor Bauer, Sean Manea, Anthony Rendon, Yolmer Sanchez. And did we get an auto in this one as well? Nope, it's just a numbered card. And it is a Felix Hernandez numbered to 100 from the Mariners there. Pretty good looking card there. And this last one we have is Bernie's Duckout Ballpark Landmarks. All right, guys, moving right along. We will do 2019 Series 1. 
What do you guys see? Uh, 2019 Series 1 is dirt cheap right now. Do you think it's worth picking any up? Possibly see if, you know, there could be any value in the future. I mean, the Jumbos are extremely cheap right now. Looks like we may have a foil in this pack. Eddie Freeman, J.D. Martinez, Matt Davidson, Scott Shebler. We'll just kind of go through these a little bit quicker. See what we have for a foil. We got a Robinson Cano foil. Not too bad. Looks Appears to be in very nice condition there. We'll set that off over in our decent pile for sure. Ty Cobb. When could it ever be bad to get a Ty Cobb card for the Tigers there? That's absolutely awesome. I'll put that one in my PC for sure. Very cool card there in my opinion. Jacob DeGrom League, League Leaders. We got a Zimmerman there for the Tigers. Taylor Shoop and Mondesi. I didn't check out the codes on the back to see if I got any short prints or anything in there. But I'll go back over these as before I put them away. All right. Next, 2019 Series 1. Let's see what we can get in here. We got a Bettis Strop. Here's a Raphael Devers, second year card. We'll put that in our decent pile there. We have a George Springer, Zach Grunke, Beckman, Wilson Contreras. Uh, we have a Tom Glavin insert, 150 years for the Braves. Sweet Life Max and Cody Celebrate. That's kind of cool. Brandon Crawford, Jose Altuve, Green, Kane, and Zanino. All right, moving right along, guys. We're going to go to the second pile here, the little bit better packs, in my opinion. We'll start off here with the 2019 Diamond Kings. I don't believe I've opened any Diamond Kings. This should be, I believe, my first pack. Let's see if I can get it open. So, rip this one. You guys let me know what you think about some of these brands. Are you, uh, you dig the Diamond King cards at all? All right. It's got a cool different type of texture on it. Let's see if I can pick that up for you. Basically looks like a painting on some canvas. That's actually kind of cool. Here's a Corbin Burns rookie. Stan Musial, that's cool. Jacob deGrom, artist proof. It's an artist proof. That one might be decent. We'll set that one off to the side. Here we have a Mookie Betts framed looking card. That's pretty cool. Check the back on that one. It's kind of nice. We'll set that off to the side. Ted Williams. Pulled a real nice Ted Williams out of my Topps Gold Label. I got a video up of the Topps Gold Label. I just opened my first box of that yesterday. Jacob Nix, rookie, and a Chipper Jones. All right, not too bad. Let's hit this 2019 Gypsy Queen. Again, I have not had any luck with the 2019 Gypsy Queen. Queen. I don't know if it's just because the rookie class or... Or if it's just really hard to hit. But uh, let's see. I know they have a lot of variations in here. Maybe we can hit an auto if we get really lucky. We have an Ian Desmond. Michael Brantley. Margot. Shebler. Kramer. Lopez rookie card. Gozart. And a Redick. That's kind of how it goes for me with these cards. I think 2020 Gypsy Queen is going to be much better with the rookie class that we have now and really enjoying the 2020 let's see if we can pull some decent rookies out of these 2018 hobby packs possibly a, an autograph maybe a long shot for the autograph but you know we can always hope but there are some decent rookies let's see what we get we have a Puig Matt Kemp Grossman we have a league leaders of an Eric Hosmer. Let me do the flip here. Looks like we got a rookie card after this, and it is a Blackburn. Cool. Sandy Koufax. That's a pretty neat looking card there. I like that. I'll put that in a decent pile for sure. World Series. McCullers. Jake Lamb. Davies. And Nolasco. All right. Nothing too exciting there in the first 2018 Top Series 1 pack. Let's see if we had anything in the second one. Kind of looking forward to the last two packs there as well. The last one that I opened here had multiple Bowman packs in it, which made me pretty happy. Here's a Zach Cozart 
Really enjoying my Bowman. Louis Perdomo. Avila. Urena, rookie card there. It's a cool looking card. Nice and clean. Corey Kluber. We get a Javier Baez for the Cubbies. That's a pretty cool uh, throwback insert card there. Set that off to the side. Nice. We got a Flaherty, Jack Flaherty rookie card. Pretty clean too. Corners aren't too bad. All right, we'll set that over in a good pile for sure. Brandon McCarthy, Lorenzen, and Lamette. All right, guys, we have some 2016 Stadium Club. One parallel or insert card in every pack. Eight cards. Not really 100% certain who we're going to be chasing in this, but we shall see what we find. I opened a hobby back box of 2019 Stadium Club, and it was... Horrid as far as the condition goes. Almost every card in the box had scratches across the front pretty bad. But I do love their pictures. As you can see there, Stadium Club always has beautiful cards. Here we have an Anthony Goose. Next we have a Melon Cone. Nice thick card there. Thicker than... Oh, maybe not. All right. James Shields. Matt Reynolds. Nice looking card. Anthony. Yeah, that dude. I'm going to steal that. <laughs> we have a Babe Ruth card. That's pretty darn cool. Looks like a black and white Babe Ruth card. Looks like we have two back to back. One's black. So we got a black ink Babe Ruth. That one's got to be pretty good. Um, I know the black inks are a little bit harder to find for sure. So... Let's go ahead and take a look at the backs. Okay, the backs look the same, I'm sure. But a black ink Babe Ruth. That's got to be pretty decent. We'll go ahead and set that up here so I don't mess it all up throwing the cards around. That's a pretty neat pull. I love it when they put the old Hall of Famers um, in the packs. I really do enjoy that. Really like it in the football and basketball as well. So, all right, Bowman. Can we pull an auto out of the Bowman? We have a Ronald Guzman. Chris Bryant, paper, Trey Mancini, Aramis Garcia, rookie. We have a D.L. Hall here for our Chrome Top 100. Next card is a D.J. Peters, a Seth Beard, decent card for our Chrome, and another D.L. Hall, Reggie Lawson paper and a Michael Bays. All right, guys. So let me know what you guys think of these. Do you think the value was good for $20? I mean, we did get a couple autos. I'll have to check those names out. I'm not really familiar with them. We did get the couple hits that they guarantee. Sometimes they'll be autos. Sometimes I'm sure these are probably commons and such, but still they threw it into the box um, I opened a couple of these, and they had multiple Bowman packs in there. So, I mean, you got almost as much as the $20 just in the Bowman packs. And then we do have a nice stack of cards. But thanks again, everybody. Video is getting kind of long. I appreciate each and every one of you for stopping by. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll keep the content coming the best that I can. Having a blast. Hope you guys are having some fun, getting some videos, ripping some packs while everybody's home just kind of chilling. And I'll see you on the next one.